Hey everybody, David Lemon here. In this video I'm going to show you how to connect your GrooveMail account with third-party SMTP driver, which in our case, in, in this demo, it's going to be SendGrid. So for this demo to work, you are going to need a SendGrid account. You can just register for free. You are going to need a GrooveMail account, of course, because we're connecting GrooveMail. You are going to need access to your DNS settings for your domain. So this will only work with a branded domain, and this branded domain needs to have an email with it. So something.com, something.net, something any kind of top level domain and this needs to have an email associated with it so in my case I have david at lemonmedia.hr okay you may have your own email at Zoho at G Suite or at Microsoft 360 anywhere you just need access to a branded email over here so that you can connect it as a sender in GrooveMail so the first thing is to head over to SendGrid and then click over to settings and then act sender authentication here we're going to need to ver uh, validate a domain so we're going to need to authenticate the domain that is going to be used for our uh, for our sending purposes so here as a DNS host you can choose your DNS host if you are using uh, Groove you can select Cloudflare I'm going to use a Cloudflare because my domain is currently on Cloudflare. This would work with Groove as well. Would you like to also brand the links for this domain? You could select yes or no if you prefer. And then from here, we just type in the domain. We want to send from my domain, which is lemonmedia.hr. And then we can click next. From here, we get CNAME records that we need to copy paste over to our domain name registrar or Cloudflare or Groove. In case you are having your domains on Groove, then just navigate to the upper right hand side corner, My Account, Domains, Custom Domains, Manage, and then here you can manage the DNS settings for your domains over here. So you can just zoom out and you can add new records and then manage everything over here. If you have uh, have not added in anything yet, then you're going to see it like this. Just click Add Record, and then you can follow through the whole demonstration. So we got now the C name records. So we can click on the copy for the, of the first one. Then we're going to come over to Cloudflare or to your Groove DNS records, add a record, C name, and then paste in the first thing over here go back to SendGrid and copy over the second one over here as a target okay we can turn off the proxy status and click Save so the first one is done let's just copy over the rest so we copy over the second one we create a CNAME record paste it in go back to SendGrid copy over this one paste that in turn off proxy click Save okay let's do it for the third one okay this is copied we add a record which is CNAME record we paste that into the first field we go on to the next one copy this over and then paste it as a target turn off proxy save head over to the next one which is this create a CNAME copy over the second turn off proxy click save and copy over this one create a C name paste it in and I'm going to show you an error if you don't turn off the proxy it's not going to allow you to actually send it in it's going to give you this error so to fix this just turn off the proxy and then it's going to allow you to save it so now what we did is you can see one, two, three, four, five different records, and this is what we get over here as well. So now when we copy pasted all of these, we can click this little checkbox. I added these records and click the verify button. Once we verify it worked, you authenticated the domain 
let's return to the sender and then we can see here verify and also the link branding is verified as well so what we did now is we made sure that this domain that we are going to use to send emails from is is verified in SendGrid. The next step is to head over to GrooveMail, head over to the Sender settings, and here you can see please configure SMTP inside senders. So let's just do that. We click New Sender, and then we are going to choose over here SendGrid immediately. Okay, you can see that we are going to need an API key, and that's what we are going to copy over. For the sender identity, you add something for yourself to recognize. I'm just going to type in send grid uh, and then the domain lemonmedia.hr. This is for myself to know that this is the actual email I'm going to use to send. The sender name is going to be David Lemon. This is going to be written in front of the email. The sender email is going to be David at lemon media dot hr okay this needs to be the email that you have access to okay so what you type in here as a sender you will need to have an inbox for so you'll you'll receive an email so make sure that the email that you type in as a sender you have options to receive emails and open emails for for this domain and for this email Okay, reply, I'm going to do the same thing, so just david at uh, lemonmedia.hr and then I'm going to make this a default. Default is that if you don't specify a different sender, this is going to be the main sender that you're going to use for all of your emails. Going over to the next tab, we need to fill in the business information. I'm just going to type in uh, lemon media online and then over here is going to be Groove Street Groovington Groovington most probably that's not how it says but now it doesn't matter save okay so what we need is API key so if we go to send grid we scroll down and we can see here in the settings one two three the third option is the API keys so I'm going to create a, an API key which I'm going to call lemon media uh, dot HR something for yourself to know what uh, what the API key is for and then full access create and view we copy this over we bring it into Groove Mail and paste in the API key that, side, uh, that SendGrid gave us. And then once we are ready, we can click the Save button. What we have now is we have an email sender that is connected with SendGrid. However, we didn't yet verify the email. So what we need to do is wait for an email to show up in our email inbox. Usually it comes within a couple of minutes, a couple of uh, seconds even, sometimes it's pretty fast. So once we receive the email, we are just going to need to click on it and verify our sender. So let's just pause and then wait for the email to arrive. Now after a couple of seconds only, we receive the GrooveMail verification email. Once we click on it, we can see the email over here. And if we click this button verify, we are going to get a message that the verification was successful. So now if we close this and come back to GrooveMail, all we need to do is just a reload or refresh our screen once. And here we can immediately see that the verification was successful. This means, ladies and gentlemen, now we connected an email sender to our Groove Mail that is over here at SendGrid. So this is the whole step that you need to that you need to do, uh, or this is the whole setup you need to do. And now, now when you go into creating a campaign, you can just select your sender over here inside the inside the content settings over here you'll have a sender which is going to be showing up immediately if you select a default. If you didn't, you're just going to select it from here and now this is going to be used for sending emails over to your recipients. That's how easy it is to manage GrooveMail with an outside sender.